Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that you are here by your Spirit to do something new, to glorify your name, to make an exchange, to raise dead dreams back to life. Thank you for your Holy Spirit, the Spirit of life, the Spirit of grace that is here to turn situations around, that is here to turn on the lights, that is here to guide us into all truth. Thank you. Mighty God, that your word is spirit and it is life, and it's about to bring to life that which is dead. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm taking my text from John chapter 11, verse 25. Jesus said, I, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. I repeat, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me. Though he were dead, yet shall he live. We are continuing on our series, Dead Dreams Shall Live. Dead Dreams Shall Live. And my story, and the story of the Weeder of Zarephath. Remember, Elijah had been sent to this widow after the brook dried up, the brook of Cherit, where he was hiding and where he was miraculously fed by the ravens. Yes, the ravens brought food to him in his uh, five-star hotel. <laughs> yes, he drank of the brook and they brought, brought steak and what have you to him. And after the brook dried up, God sent him to a widow, the widow of Zarephath. He told him, I have commanded a widow to sustain you, First Kings chapter 17. And he arose and went to Zarephath, where he saw that woman poor widow who had very little to live on who got her sticks and was making her last meal for her and her child so they could eat and die <laughs> And the prophet said, well, go and make me some little cake first, bring it unto me, and after, make for thee 
حرفای سان خدا سه دلات گروی از را بارل آف میل شال نات ویش نیدا شال دا کروز آف آیل فیل آنتیل دا دی that the Lord send it rain upon the land, upon the earth. Now if a man went to bed, and so it happened, the Lord sustained her. She did eat many days, and a barrel of meal and Mill wasted not, neither did the crews of oil fail according to the word of the Lord which he spake by Elijah. And beloved, this is me and I want to focus on what happened later on to this same woman. Oftentimes when God does God the miraculous in your life, miraculous provision in this case, or some other miracle, the enemy may want to pour sand on what God has done. The enemy may want to undermine the power of God in your life and bring your testimony to nothing by other means. And that's what you and I have to guard, guard against. Give no room to the enemy. Watch out, child of God. God has not finished with you. That you had a miracle yesterday does not mean you will not be challenged again. For the power generated in one valley is designed to sustain you in another challenge, on another mountain, or another valley, depending on how you see it. This woman has been miraculously sustained by the word of God, by her obeying the word of God, the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail according to the word of the Lord, but soon <laughs> she was challenged in another area. Verse 17 of chapter, first book of Kings, chapter 17, verse 17. And it came to pass that after these things that the son of the woman, the mistress of the house, fell sick. Remember, this is a widow. Her husband was gone. Now, after the miraculous sustenance, miraculous provision, miraculous supply, her son fell sick. And his sickness was so sore, so serious, that there was no bread left in him. Verse 18 And she said unto Elijah What have I to do with thee? O man of God had thou come unto me to call my sin to remembrance and to slay my son. <laughs> this woman was not missing any words. <laughs> She lay to the door of Elijah the prophet. You are here, and this is what's happening. I know I have been fed. But must my son die while you're here? 
It's your fault. And he said unto her, Give me thy son. And he took him out of her bosom and carried him up into a loft where he abode and laid him upon his own bed. Yeah. This woman not only fed the prophet, she only provided a place for him to stay. And see what's happening. Verse 20. And he cried unto the Lord and said, O Lord my God, has thou also brought evil upon the widow <coughs> with whom my surgeon by slaying her son? Yes, she accused her. Elijah. Elijah accused the Lord. <laughs> this blame game is being played here. The titles was played in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> yes. Eve said it's a serpent. And I'm sad, it's the woman you gave me. <laughs> Adam accused God. Eve accused the serpent. The serpent beguiled me. Similar game, blame game isn't played here. She blamed Elijah. Elijah blamed the Lord. <laughs> yeah. This game goes on from time to time. We tend to blame God. Yes. When things happen to us. Hallelujah. Verse 22, And the Lord heard the voice of Elijah and the soul of the child came into him again and he revived. Glory to God. Elijah took the child and brought him down out of the chamber into the house and delivered him into his mother unto his mother. Elijah said, See my son leave it. And the woman said to Elijah, Now by this I know that thou art a man of God, and that the word of the Lord is in thy mouth. In thy mouth is true. Yes. Their dreams shall live in the name of Jesus. Things happen. Calamities befall us. Vicissitudes visit us. Darkness falls. Often after you've seen the light, after you've experienced one spectacular miracle in your life, something else happens. that wants to be cloud the power of God, that wants to eclipse the miracle you've just experienced. Something happens that wants to steal your testimony. Yes, do not allow it, child of God. Know that the God who did the previous miracle remains the same. This is the trial of your faith. A trial of your faith is meant to walk patience, patience experience. It's meant to shape your character. It's meant to take you to another level. Some people say another level, another devil. 
God wants to take us from glory to glory. And so when calamity comes after some breakthrough, do not throw in the tower. Step up to the plate. Yes. Feed your feet. Fuel your feet. Stand your ground. Call on God. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you and you will glorify me. Call upon the Lord. Call upon me and I will show you great and mighty things which I will know it of. At such times, do not waver. At such times, perhaps, you need to fast and pray. You need to take your prayer to another level. I just shall lead by faith. Yes. It's not a time to start pointing the finger. Yes. Oftentimes we do the unthinkable. We play into the hands of the enemy when we point fingers we start accusing other people for our calamity God was merciful on this occasion as a prophet stepped up to the plate braced up to the challenge took the child An inner chamber. Yeah. Instead of arguing with the woman, is it my fault? Why are you accusing me? <laughs> yes, he prayed. He called on God. And that's why what you and I should do. Don't take no for an answer. Don't allow the enemy to steal your miracle from you. The word of God tells us God had him. God had him. The Lord had his voice. God will hear your voice when you call on him. In spirit and in truth when you call on him in faith. And the life of your dream will come back to it. Your dream will be revived again, whatever it is. Just may not be a child. It may be a ministry that is dying right before your eyes. It may be a career that is dying before your eyes. It may be a business that is dying before your eyes. It may be your marriage that is dying before your eyes. Your marriage was miraculous. You saw the hand of God bringing two of you together. But now the marriage is dying right before you. It's not a time to accuse each other. It's a time to hold on the horns of the altar. It's time to call on God. Lord, it was you who brought us together. You opened the door. You did the miraculous. Now see what's happening. You are able to do exceeding abundantly far beyond our wildest dream. It's time to remind God of His word. You do not bring to the time of bed and shut the womb. We call on you. There's power in unity. One shall put a thousand to flight, two shall put ten thousand to flight. 
There's power in agreement. If two of you shall agree concerning anything, it shall be done for them, of my Father. That day you shall ask me nothing, ask the Father, and he shall give it to you. That's a time to remind God of his word. Hallelujah. Yes. God enjoins us to come and argue. Come and show us, show him a case, show him why you should be justified. Yes. Elijah wrestled with God, so to speak. And the child's life was revived. And he was able to tell the woman, See your son, leave it. Hallelujah. And the woman was able to say, Yes, now, by this I know that you are a man of God. And the word of God. Word of the Lord in thy mouth is truth. Prayer works. Hallelujah. Prevailing prayer works. Prayer of faith prevails. Hallelujah. Their dream shall live. A child of God, I don't know what you're going through. Has dark, darkness fallen upon your dream, upon your business, upon your marriage, upon your career, upon your ministry, upon your children? Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The same God who answered Elijah will answer you. And your dream shall leave. Because Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. Because Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Because his presence makes a difference. Step up to the plate. Take your prayer to another level. And see the glory of God. See the power of God. And go from one breakthrough to another breakthrough. Hallelujah. Weeping men there for the night by joy cometh in the morning. The righteous man may fall seven times, but he rises again. He rises again. Heart pressed on every side, but not crushed. Yes, why? Because we have this treasure in jars of clay. In an vessel, the Holy Spirit is in you, and you shall receive power for the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, Judea, in Samaria, and to the utmost part of the earth. The Holy Spirit is there to do the miraculous in your life, in any area you can think of, any area you are challenged in. God is able, more than able, to do beyond your wildest dream. To hold on, stand strong, and see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. That you are able to do exceeding the bond and the far beyond our wildest dream. And regardless of where we are challenged, we know that you are still the same. Regardless of how we are challenged, we know that you are still the same. We will not take 
her eyes of the ball. We will look on to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, for the joy set before him in the other cross. In the name of Jesus, we thank you that you are there, Jehovah Shammah, the ever-present Lord. Thank you that you are there, the Good Shepherd, who supplies all our needs. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. We thank you, mighty God, that you have the power of an endless life. We thank you, mighty God, that your word will not fall to the ground, heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will not pass away. Your word, which is powerful, dynamic, sharper than any two-edged sword, living word. Your word of the spirit and life, even as it, is, as it is spoken, life shall come back to any dead dream under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Most High. The Wonderful God. Yes. He said, Behold, I am he that was dead, but now I am alive, and alive forevermore. I hold the keys of death and Hades. Jesus went to the tomb of Lazarus. And he hold that. Take away the stone. Roll away the stone. He rose up and raised his voice. And he cried out, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus he came forth. Up. Yes, he rose up. that is my faith in God. That is my belief in God. He rose up. That is my confidence. He rose up. That regardless of how dead your dream may be, you are coming up. If you believe it, he rose yeah. up. It shall be. He rose up. Principalities and powers cannot hold him. He rose up. He rose up. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He rose up. He rose up. Principalities and powers could not hold him. He rose up. He rose up. If you believe in the, in the Son of God, you rise up. You rise up. Principalities and powers cannot hold you. You rise up. You rise up. Yes. We who were dead in trespasses and sins. We are raised together with him and seated with him in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers and thrones that shape the name, not only in this world but also in the world to come. He rose up, he rose up. Jesus Christ, What's the Son, Son of God. God. He rose up, he rose up. Principalities and powers could not hold him. He rose up, he rose up. If you believe, in the Son of God, you rise up, you rise up. Principalities and powers cannot hold you. You rise up, you rise up. Yes, the woman of name ah, saw her dream dead. They were going to bury her only child. Jesus met them on the way, told them, put the casket down. Yes, and he raised that boy to life. Her dead dream rose in Jesus' name. <laughs> he rose up. He rose up. Principalities and powers cannot hold you. You rise up. Yeah. You rise up. So my friend, as your dream died, you rise look up. up. Your redemption draws nigh. If you believe in the Son of God, your dream will rise again. Yes. Because Jesus is the resurrection and the life. You rise up. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He rose up. He rose up. Principalities and powers could not hold him. He rose up. He rose up. 
believe in the Son of God. You rise up, you rise up. Principalities and powers cannot hold you. You rise up, you rise up. Yeah, Lazarus was dead and his tank. Jesus came on the scene and he gave thanks. Father, I thank you that you have heard me. You always hear me, he said. Hallelujah. Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus came forth. Glory. My dream will live again. Amen. In Jesus' name. Not by my might, not by my power, but by the spirit of the living God. That same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will quicken my mother body. In Jesus' name. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He rose up. He rose up. Principalities and powers could not hold him. He rose up. He rose up. Yes. Because I believe in the Son of God, my dream shall live again in Jesus' name. Their dream shall live in Jesus' name.